Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. Today I'm going to talk about math versus physics to choose for your major or for your degree. So for many people out there, maths and physics, they like both subjects, but they can't then decide on which one to take at university. So let's look at the advantages of taking mathematics, the advantages of taking physics, and then we'll come to a conclusion. We'll get started right now. Okay, and my point number one, why maths is the choice to take, is its flexibility. It gives you many options after you completed your bachelor's. So you can go down an economics route, you can go down a physics route, of course. You can also look at statistics and go down that side, or you may even want to combine it with another subject, which you know doesn't look on the service like there's much link. So I just want to show you something now, which hopefully shows the options that maths gives you and the flexibility it offers. Okay, so this is my former university here, the University of St Andrews. I'm just showing you the mathematics page here to get a bachelor's degree, a BSc. And if I open up the different modules that are offered here, one of the first modules you can do here is MT1003, which is Pure and Applied Mathematics. And it really gives you a good basic a basis of exactly what kind of mathematics you can do. And you can see here, in terms of the syllabus, um, it really does range from the kind of pure mathematics side of things to looking at numerical solutions, which is more on the applied side of things. If I scroll down and actually look at some of the more complicated modules towards the end of the course, one that I would like to show you here is mathematical modelling. You can see that kind of fits in with the more physics sides of things. So if we look at a different module here, uh, scroll up slightly, We've also got abstract algebra. That's much more of a sort of pure theoretical basis. Um, you can see this is done in second year here. And if I scroll all the way down, if I open this up, um, you've also got this mathematical concepts through history module. So if you're interested in history as well as mathematics, this is a fantastic module that you can take in second year at St Andrews as well. So hopefully this will give you an idea of the flexibility that mathematics can give you and it's not one specific mathematics you look at university, there are many branches in which you can explore. Okay, and my second key point is the variety of different careers out there for you. So you're not limited to a sort of science orientated kind of research position, but there are many, many different jobs out there. So all I've done here is actually just typed in to jobsite.co.uk, mathematics, that's all I've typed in, and you can see there are 6,000 jobs in the UK. Now many of these are teaching positions you can see here, but if I scroll down, we've got trainee engineer. So doing a mathematics degree does not limit you to not going into engineering, so it gives you that option there. We've got C++ uh, developer, for example, quantitative analysis. There are so many opportunities out here, and this is just the first page that you should really consider a maths degree because of all the different career options it gives you. And lastly, my third key point is the philosophy behind mathematics. Yeah, there is an element of universal truth to mathematics, and by doing a mathematics degree, you can explore that in greater detail and really prove, and this is a really nice word we use in mathematics, prove many of the facts that we take for granted around. Okay, and we shouldn't forget the benefits of doing a physics major instead. Uh, the first thing is that opportunity to do practicals, which you really do not get in mathematics. So I'm gonna show you a really exciting practical now that you can even try at home as well. And number two, there are clear career opportunities out there for you. If you want to go into some kind of scientific uh, career afterwards, then they are more likely to be more impressed by a physics degree than a mathematics degree. So if you're sure you want to become a scientist in some way, then physics has a much more clearer route than doing mathematics, where you might have to do some kind of conversion course. And finally, number three, you get to do all that useful mathematics, which you know, in mathematics, generally speaking, you might have to do some of the set theory, the proof, for example, whereas this allows you to concentrate on solving problems practically. I'm gonna show you a bit of mathematics I've done with my IB high level AI to give you a kind of flavor of that. So this is an example that I did with my year 12 IB high level applications course class the other day, where you have two cyclists, they move with a certain vector equation, and you need to find the shortest distance between the cyclists. And the way we do this 
is we actually put this into parametric form and then you find the difference between the two vector equations using potentially Pythagoras on it and then minimizing the quadratic and that shows you that a lot of these mathematical tools that we use can be of course used in physics and I think it's uh, really useful to see in physics that you're always doing useful maths and sometimes for the more theoretical things you do not need to do if you're just focusing on a physics major. So what do you think? Do you think a math major is the best choice or a physics major? Please write in the comments below exactly what you think. I'll be really interested to hear what you have to say. I'm personally, of course, a mathematics um, graduate, but I have many friends that are physicists as well. I'd be interested to hear your views as well. All right, bye-bye for now.